hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see how to create authentication using session in php before getting started if you are new to this channel do like share and subscribe uh, let's not waste our time and let's get started let me open my code so this is my code in previous video we have seen how to create a login form how to log in using existing mail id first i'll explain what is authentication so authentication is nothing but accessing of a particular page the rights will be given only if you log in this is my login code first year i have to create session and set the auth as true before creating session session has to be started and this has to be on the first line so once this is done we will create a session dollar session of auth we'll set this as true once after this we'll just uh, display message in session itself so dollar session of message is equal to login successful we'll just keep it like this and we'll comment it and copy the same thing and we are going to paste it here comment this and copy paste so done once this is done we'll move back to our index page here we have to show we'll just create separate file and then we'll include that file in our index page here i'll give a file name as authentication.php so inside this open close php here we have to start a session session start so once this is done we have to check if that session is not set here we'll check using condition if is set of dollar session of or this will become set if it is not set you have to use this symbol and we'll check dollar session of auth not equal to true we're going to check both the condition here we'll be displaying the message so dollar session of message is equal to login first to access the, after this we'll redirect to a particular location like header and location location it will be back to login.php give die function here so that it ends here before executing this let me comment it and show you example of how it is working without authentication and how it is going to work after authentication here you can see that it's login.php without logging we'll try to access index.php it is accessible so this should not happen only once uh, the login is successful you should be able to access the index file so now we have given the code here now let's see how this is working so if it is accessible or not accessible so let's login dot php here we'll try to access index dot php why this is happening in the sense we have created the authentication but this file is not accessed in our index page once this is accessed only this condition will work let's access it has to be on top so here give the correct file name so it's authentic .php. so this is a file now let's reload and check we have already logged in so let's try here like let me access the index page so it is not letting us to access the index page because we have given a condition here you can check so once logged in only we can access that particular page here we have logged in so it is accessible here it is not logged in so when you try to access the index page it is not accessible so in this case user will not be knowing what is happening so we should display a message telling you are not able to access the site because you have to log in we will display that message using a session go to getbootstrap.com latest version is 5.3 click on doc and search for alert 
okay good i'll take this thing so we have a closing tab also so we'll take this copy and this message has to be shown login form so we'll just paste the code here the design thing and we'll reload here getting we have to set this message according to our need let us go back and set here open close php inside this what you have to do is if dollar session of message then we have to tell dollar session of message so we have to set this here so we'll be breaking dividing our php thing cut this and paste it here so instead of this we'll just give a and here php cut this and echo and paste since this is set we have to unset it unset dollar session of message so here we have used our session so it has to be started so make sure you start your session so session start go back and reload so here we'll just reload so it is showing hey login to access the site let us close this and try to access our index page with so it is giving us a message hey login to access the site so once we login we'll be able to access it so let's login sneha at gmail.com 12345 login so now it is redirecting back to the index page now uh, we'll set once logged in we'll have a logout and when you click this it has to go back to logout i have a logout button here so once this is done it has to come back to the login page again we'll set that for that click on this logout we have to create logout.php so copy this logout.php and go to your code and create a file called logout.php open close php you have to start session so session session start then you have to unset the auth session of auth once this is done you have to echo and display the message that you have logged in. session of message is equal to you you have logged out success fully and we are going to exit before that once it is logged out it has to be redirected to the login page so let's give a location add a location and it is going to be login.php give a semicolon so we are done with our logout for also let's go to include navbar and we'll check yes we have given your logout.php once this is clicked it will go to logout.php and it is going to unset the authentication so let's go and try so it's here let us go now it is we have logged in so it is in index page let's click on logout it is coming back to login page with a message a hey, you have logged out. again you log in sneha@gmail.com and login welcome to sneha codes you are able to access index if you are not logged in you go here right to access the index it will redirect you with the message login first to access a site i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section do follow my instagram page like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching